So now we have our full outline. Um, there's still a few more details that I could have added, but I can add them at this inking stage. It's best to get the whole you know, line drawing done first, and now we can work out exactly uh, where the light source is coming from. Um, I usually do this, um, you know, like sometimes, uh, but <laughs> sort of other times I, I sort of go overboard with the inking and uh, it looks like there's no sort of light source on some drawings, but um, for the purposes of, of this video, let's assume that the light source is coming from this side. So everything on the opposite side that we can do, you know, like so on, on these sides, under these like tentacle things, they'll be like more shadowed. And then the lighter areas would be on, you know, the side of the skull, the other side of the tentacles, uh, that wooden stake and the shoulder there and just highlight areas. So like I said, um, anywhere where the light source won't reach, you know, on this side, um, there'll be the shadowed areas, so say behind like tentacles and stuff, under the eyes, or oh, what little eyes they have, the skull thing, because it's all rotten, rotten to hell, but just try and add like a darker line, and sometimes a thicker line, maybe on these tentacles, usually works as well. Sort of like um, different line weights and stuff help, you know, um, create depth in the drawing. And a bit of that area might be covered by the light as well, so this would be like shadowed and in here as well, in the mouth area, there'll be shadow. You just, it's just basic, um, you know, like common sense where, you know, the shadow areas would be and uh, based upon, you know, where the light's coming from sort of thing. Um, obviously that nose socket will be all dark, so we'll just darken that now. And so this side of the head um, will be more, more lighter, so maybe still around the eyes and stuff. Make it more dark, if you can see that. Let's zoom in slightly. Like I said, I do go overboard with the inking process, but it's the way I draw things really, isn't it? at least. I, I really like inking drawings and that, and it really makes them stand out, so that's why I do this. A shadow under there, but there'll be less as is, you know, as it moves outwards because the light will be shining. Obviously, this side, so just, just trying to work out where the shadowed areas would be and just continue with that, you know, right the way throughout the drawing. Um, so a lot of this would be shadowed, but a lot of cool looking um, hatching and stuff like that lines and that to show the tone. A lot of it can be just like trial and error with the ink and this is just a simple gel ink pen, real cheap pens. So I just like darken it up that that way. And once you add these ink pens, you know with the the like um, hatched like tone you could darken it with a thicker pen later on maybe a sharpie marker or something just to totally darken areas that you want in total blackness which really helps as well and thicken that underside of that um, tentacle thing As I've said in other videos, uh, line weight really makes um, you know the drawings stand out. So, like if you 
like I said, if you've got like shadowed areas, then the underside like of certain areas would be thicker, a thicker line, whereas the top line are just thin, and that sort of helps like light and shadow as well. So that's why I do that. try and build up the areas that's all you can do and sometimes it's a good idea to leave like a white land especially if you're you know coloring this in later on because um, you could do some like um, reflections of something you know underneath maybe there's like a supernatural glow coming from this way um, maybe or I don't know like it just adds an extra dimension to it, even though we've established like the lights coming from this side. Um, that doesn't always mean that there's nothing coming from underneath uh, that can cause a, a different type of glow, like a red glow or something. You know, you just got to keep your options open with these drawings and, you know, sort of plan it ahead. Uh, even though most drawings that I do, I, I don't really plan them out. I just, uh, well, I do a little sketch here and there, but um, I just thought for the best sometimes and hope that the drawing comes together, and usually it does. So it looks like I'm doing this real sketchy, like, but you can see. how I'm laying down the inks there just like small lines and darker areas so I'll just carry on inking this and I'll show you a bit more as I go later on a um, bit of a time lapse just to jump ahead a little bit and then we'll see where we are with that
so that's my basic uh, first pass at this. Um, it's it's good idea just to be sketchy with it at first, and you can tighten everything up later with a, a decent marker pen, um, maybe a thicker marker pen, usually a Sharpie marker or a Copic marker or something like that. You can get some nice thick lines and maybe some uh, total black darkness in you know the more darker areas that will help it stand out. Um, yeah, so. I'll probably leave that there, um, but I will do an update and show you what I mean by tightening up the drawing right at the end of here, and then I'll show you the final drawing all cleaned up and nice. So a lot of it is just about reinforcing the, you know, the dark lines underneath, uh, thickening them, adding extra bits like I've just done, and. Just create a nice looking drawing. Zoom in a little bit. You can see that texture of the stair. I did lots of dark, thicker lines just to just to add to it really. And there we go really. Uh, that's how I ink a drawing. I've showed you many times how to ink a drawing, but the, I thought I'd do this uh, latest video. Um, yeah. So there we go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.